here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week we're starting out the month of July and a lot of people call that Christmas in July. Christmas, six months away. Can you guys believe that? Absolutely crazy. For those of you that have um, followed my blog for quite some time in my YouTube channel, you'll know that every year in December, I participate in a Christmas market in our local town. So this year, I thought it would be really fun to test out some projects during Christmas in July, getting ready for July. So this week, we are gonna be doing a really fun coaster project. So we are going to be using some cork coasters and I'm gonna show you a quick and easy technique to add a splash of color to the coasters. And so I can't wait to show you how easy this is. This is one of the quickest videos that I'll have um, this year. And so make sure you stay tuned. But hey, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks so much. Make sure you click on that subscribe button down below and don't forget to click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. We do it every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So let's just get going and start crafting today. So join me over at the paint station and we will get making. So let's get started on this super easy project this week. I thought it would be really fun to start working on some of my ideas for my Christmas market since it is now Christmas in July time frame. So I picked up these cork coasters off of Amazon and I got a pack and I want to say there was 15 or 16 in the pack and I'll make sure I put a link down below. But they're nice and thin. They're perfect little coasters. And how easy is it to add a little bit of paint to it? We are going to um, top coat it with some Mod Podge just to um, protect it. But these guys are just so fun and so easy to do. So not very many supplies. You need your cork. I just grabbed some of the paint that I have in my stash. So I'm, I'm going patriotic since it's 4th of July weekend. So I've got white. I've got some peacock blue. And I have got, um, wow, I don't even see what color red this is. It is a, a ruby red. So a nice bright red. So I just threw some on a plate. I am using um, foam brushes and I will wash these out um, after I use them, but just to make it easy today, I'm gonna grab three, since I got three colors I'm gonna be painting with. And then all you need to do is add some painter's tape. So the designs are unlimited to what you guys want to put on your coasters. You can see here, I just did some um, tapes um, crossed and made an X. Um, if you want to do more patriotic, maybe you want to do something that's more like a flag, but it is just as easy as putting um, some tape on. And I'm just going to go ahead and stay with kind of my theme of that cross. I do like to really push the tape in um, to the cork and then make sure you're curved over the edges. As you see here, I did paint around the edges and that just gives it a nice finished look. That way, if someone's looking at it from a distance, um, it looks really nice. So that's all I'm gonna do is I am going to put my tape on. I do like to do both of mine if I'm gonna do two at a time. These would be quick, easy gifts to make for someone. Lots of, um, lots of fun there. Just think of all the different colors that you could do. Again, I'm just doing patriotic because of the time of the year it is but you know think about somebody's living room quick easy housewarming gift for someone so all I'm going to do is just add this next piece of tape and then I'm going to paint away and what I do find is the foam brushes do work really nice and they really help um with that crisp finish because it is kind of basically like a stencil and so you want to kind of dab so i'm going to go ahead and let's see i like this red so i'm going to go with the red get a little bit on my paintbrush and then i'm just going to dab around where that tape is and just add to it 
And you guys, this is just so simple. You get your kids involved. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to test out this project. Um, at Christmas time, for those of you that have followed my blog for a while, you'll know that um, I do a Christmas market in our local town and I offer crafting for free um, to adults and kids both. And so what I have to do is make sure that I've got projects that are kid friendly and adult friendly. And one of the things I really like to do with the projects is try to think of something that kids could make for someone or adults for that matter. But I really like the idea of the kids being able to come in and make a Christmas present um, for, you know, that special person. So I just like to give them different ideas. Um, and so this month we are going to be testing out some of my ideas. Have no idea which ones I'm going to do this year. But I thought, who better to test it out on than you guys? So um, you have to let me know if you think this would be a good project um, for kids to do. And also, if you guys have got any ideas, I would love ideas on um, projects. I've, um, If any of you follow my Pinterest um, pages, I have a Pinterest page that's all dedicated to just ideas, things I'm looking for um, to do for the Christmas market this year. So only have two weekends that we do projects in. So it's not like I have lots of projects to do, but just looking for all kinds of different ideas. So how quick and easy is this? I'm just going to go ahead and do that blue. And then we're going to let these ones dry. This other one I have here is already dry. And so I'm just going to show you how I'm just adding on a little bit of Mod Podge just to um, protect it. And I grabbed my regular Mod Podge, but I think what I'm going to do is down below in my drawer, I have got um, dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So I think I'm going to try that. I also thought about just an acrylic spray, but if I'm doing this down at the market, that's not something that's going to work real well is an acrylic spray. So they don't look really pretty right now, but once those um, pack up just a little bit, we'll go ahead and pull off that tape. And while we wait just a few minutes for that, let me get some of that paint off my fingers. Let's go ahead and grab this. Now I did go and grab the, mod, the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I'm gonna grab one of my other paint brushes here and we are just gonna put a coat on it just to protect that beautiful paint so that when you put your cups down, maybe you've got a glass with some ice in it, you know how those just um, sometimes drip and that way we are all set. So really, really quick and easy project this week, you guys. So there we go, look at that one. Mod Podge is all on, ready to go. So let's go ahead and remove the tape. And I like to be really careful about this. I like to start from the back, look at what piece of tape is on top, and then just very carefully pull it. And hopefully we don't have to make any touch-ups. Always worry that I've got paint on my fingers. Look how nice and crisp those colors came out. Pull my next one off and I definitely got paint on my fingers. Look at that. There's one coaster basically done. I always like to have little wet ones around. It really helps, especially when I'm painting. I could have put gloves on, but I still would have got paint on my tips of my gloves and I would have wanted to wipe them off too. Whoops, Lisa pulled the wrong end first. Now I don't put anything on the back of my coasters. You definitely could if you wanted to. Um, when I do ceramic coasters, I usually put little um, stoppers on them. But for this type of coaster, I don't need to worry about that. And there we are. You guys, this one that we've already pulled, that first one we did is already dry. I can see that it is all nice and ready to go. So we're gonna add some Mod Podge and we are gonna have a couple coasters ready to go for 4th of July. 
And here we go. I've got my coasters all done. I added that Mod Podge to the red, white, and blue ones. And I've got those out on display. I can't wait to use them this weekend when we're camping for the 4th of July weekend. So thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other DIY type projects.